and Liverpool went to Wolves and get thumped. Three goals to nil. Afterwards, Jurgen Klopp, well, he says, no, this wasn't down to any lack of confidence. The team is not full of confidence. You can see that first 12 minutes were obvious, but it about, was about defending. It was about being compact. It was about being active. Do you need a lot of confidence for that? I, I'm, I'm not so sure. So um, we cause the problems ourselves. So how can that happen? We cannot. We cannot. Always, I cannot always cover things with. It was obvious. We do it in public. That's why everybody can see it. Well, then, of course, the questions were wide-ranging and fairly, fairly investigative when it comes to. Mm. What is actually going on though? Why is this happening? How much worse does it have to get before it gets better? And at this stage, on one journalist who asked a question, it has to be asked, did Klopp almost go full Fergie? That has been a theme throughout the season, starting so slowly. I know you said you can't explain it, but is it, is it a men- do you think it is a mentality thing? Is it, does it make you look at how you prepare for games, the fact that they can then start a game so slowly when you've had a whole week on the training field? It's very difficult to talk to you, but I'm 100% honest. I would prefer not to do that. You know why. For all the things you wrote, so if somebody else wants to ask that question, then I answer it. Yeah, and if not, it you ask it. So Jurgen Klopp's in there, uh, Simon, no, I'm not talking to you. Not from you. Maybe you, but not you. I mean, um, it's an occasion that, the for those who have never seen this kind of thing post-match, it's an occasion that the media get together, the ones who have been in attendance at the match, obviously, and then it is open house. You can ask questions as and when you are prompted to do so. Uh, Simon, what, what do you think of Klopp's reaction to that? Well, I think he's shown uh, his view on that journalist in very clear terms. And I, to some extent, I do, I can understand his views on things because sometimes journalists will get so far up your nose you can feel their boots on your chin. But the point is, is that's part of the job. And you've got to get over it and you've got to find a way around it. I did it regularly in, in, a, in a smaller guise. I didn't want to talk to certain journalists, so I didn't. And Why? If, Why? Because I felt that when, when, you take, when you take it from objective journalism into personal agendas and you take it into scenarios where you're trying to make a point all the time and ne- necessarily the narrative you're creating isn't accurate, it will, of course, offend people. But the other the other side of the argument is is that you've got to be able to manage that. I should have managed it better in my small way, and Klopp has got to manage it in his way. The last thing you do is you empower a journalist. You dismantle a journalist, because most of them don't know what they're talking about anyway. You that's not, that's utter nonsense. Well, in context... In, in that's compa- utter nonsense. Okay, well, let me when qual- you look back in that now, well, let me quali- your, your let, let me quali- you know that's wrong. Let me qualify them. Let me qualify them. Compared to Jurgen Klopp's understanding of football, they'll know nothing. So he should be able to dismantle them quite easily. Yeah, but Compa- when I go com- to the dentist, he knows about my teeth. I don't. That's right. So then you wouldn't argue with a dentist, would you? No, obviously. Klopp is there to answer the questions that are being put to him. I understand that. But I'm giving you, I'm giving you both sides of the argument. So and I'm he can si- say, I'm I'll hear it from you, but not from I'm, you. No, I'm, he can do as he wants, but then he can also accept the consequences of his actions. Jim, it's not Jim, Donald Trump. Jim, but what it is, is he feels that that particular journalist, I mean, he can't, Jürgen's sitting there answering lots of questions. He's raw after a bad result. And he looks up and he sees his particular journalist. He can't even hear the question. He can only see the person. He's looking at that person who does seem like he's got a, maybe been vindictive against his club, trying to take down a manager that, uh, let's be fair, Jim, this is one of the all-time great managers. This is a manager who's been What's there... vindictive in the question, Martin? No, I'm just explaining that he can't... Is it a mentality he, it's thing? It's what that person has, has written since and recently about his football club. He looks at him and says, I don't even want... I can't see the... I can't hear the question. I'm not thinking straight. If I'm being honest, I don't want to hear it from you because you've already written off my football club. He's saying it's a, menta- he's saying it's a mentality that's thing because he's hoisting Klopp that, as that's words. That's what's yeah. happening. He, I mean, when, when I mentioned our show to Jürgen some time ago when I was up there, he had a little swipe I know you. he did. Um, he says, no, I listen, but no, I don't agree with everything. Well, that's, that's fine, right. He's it? a big boy. But yeah. ultimately, ultimately, I don't go after him. Listen, the bottom line is the journalist, for whatever reason, Jürgen Klopp, this is not a standard stock in trade for Jürgen Klopp. He doesn't do it to every journalist. He doesn't do it uh, en masse. So there must be a, a body of work that he objects to. I think, personally, I can understand both sides of the argument. As a human being looking at it, going, well, actually, if I don't like someone, I, I, I can handle it two ways. I personally would want to spend my life making sure that I dismantle this journalist and everything he said. Jürgen Klopp has a different way of doing it. He doesn't want to speak to him. I think the cleverer way would be to, A, never let the journalist know he's gone under your skin, and B, peel back the veneers of his knowledge, which would be about one layer. No, I think he's right. right. And deal I, with it that I, way. I think he doesn't want to speak to him because he's frightened of what he might say to him. And I, and I think we saw that, didn't we? Remember Graham Taylor, famously with Rob Shepherd all those years ago? 
when he um, well we saw well, we also saw it in Nigel Pearson didn't Rob- we with journalists when he talked about ostriches burying their heads in the ground and so on and so forth the bottom line is as a football manager and as a football manager that is put in an economic position I know we don't like this conversation all the time but you are rewarded so well you have to take the rough with the smooth and you have to answer a journalist's question yeah. and you can make the journalist exactly. eat crow if you can actually Klopp, stand he's a, it up he's an emotional man Jim isn't he I think he, of course. I think he makes a great copy. He tells you exactly That's how it is. That's not great copy, though, is as, it? As it is right That's now. That's not great copy. No, I, I, I respect the man. I look at what he's done, the way he's built that team. This is a transitional period in their history. He's been to three Champions League finals, Jim. He's managed mm. to win a Premier League in amongst have what it, Man City Martin. have done in recent years. So he's not, Surely he's not you, bad. You can't have it as a one way transaction. You can't have this $64 million smile smuggling ivory all day when you're winning football matches. And then when you're losing football matches and the press are after you, you can't then suddenly say, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit truculent. I'm going to get a little bit belligerent. You've got to be able to, like we discussed in the break, treat both such set of circumstances in equal measure. Because you'll you'll take all the praise yeah. and you'll take all the plaudits, but when it comes on top, your team's 10th. In reality, te- did, that didn't happen. What happened with Fer- Sir Alex Ferguson? Well, he's just as bad. Conference. Well, he's a you bully. say just as bad. He was a Look bully. how successful he was. Fantastic, but it doesn't make it doesn't make his handling of certain segments of the media right, does it? Yeah. Well, maybe maybe they just want to be more in control. They just want to take control and, in these and, events. And that's absolutely fine. And when he tried to take control of other situations outside of the football world, like the Rock of Gibraltar, he got his head handed to him. So there's a bottom line behind the way managers can operate, and the world has changed. And the problem is, and I don't like it, Martin. I'm in your camp to some extent. The media has built football to such a level. That the main beneficiaries of it are the people inside football, so they have to accept. Not just the media. The it's, clubs have built it, football no, 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 no. to it, such no, it's a not. level. It's a Faustian pact. It's based upon the doing a deal, deal with the Owners devil. Owners like you have built well, football to no, such a level. The broadcasters have done it. All right. The reason, that, hang on, football existed before Sky came along, but it has never seen yeah. days like this yeah. because of broadcasting. It's because of broadcast. It's because of worldwide broadcasting. It's because of the media. So with that Faustian pact that you've made, this little devil situation, you have got to get on with it. <laughs> I mean, Martin, you mentioned his previous achievements, and of course, yeah, for sure, they're there. When you look at his list of honours, they're there. They're significant. But how long do previous achievements keep you protected? Plenty of time. He's, I have no, no. Con- it doesn't concern me that Liverpool won't bounce back. Of course they will. This is this guy is an incredible man in what he's achieved. At this football club, I think is it seven trophies if you include the Community Shield uh, since he's been at the club. Um, he's been there, what, seven years, one trophy per season. We're now in a period there's no Mane and Nunes is not quite hit the ground running. There's a period of, of when it was Milner, wasn't it? Milner or Henderson, neither mm. of those started the game mm. of the day. They have yeah. sort of the, they have sort of voice, history. they're the sort of voice on the pitch. And so he's not got the blend. The blend this is, is history. The blend is, is not right at the moment. This isn't the 1920. Lost a load of centre backs, can't get themselves together, and how they're defending. This is something very different. This is a malaise inside the football team that, that, that smacks of lack of application, smacks of players not responding to the manager. No, the no, best headline of the weekend. That. The best headline of the weekend, ironically, was no from balance in the team. Is dances with wolves. I thought that was a wonderful headline from the Mirror. And the bottom line is, is that the team itself is all over the place, and that is down to the manager. Look at the players on the pitch. Look at the analysis after the game by guys like you doing it. Look at Thiago, the reaction to adversity when they lose the ball. Nothing. Where's that come from? That must come from the manager. So Klopp has got to take it on his chin in the same way he took all the plaudits. Well, yeah. when, you, when you go a slightly yeah. different direction, Thiago is, isn't he? He's a bit more creative. You're going to lose something the other way, but yeah. his desires are. You can't react to adversity. And just one thing, Simon. You, you say you know, like, and you're right. Liverpool are tenth. They lost three 0 at Wolves. Yeah. And it was a woeful performance. You say the media are after them. They're not. Not the media's up. doing the media's doing its job. How you have your mind? The media in this country does nothing, and it's, it does nothing but all day building people up so they can whittle them down. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.